Booze Ooh. Reviews in Black and White. I'm D'Amico. This is Bane. Um, yeah. Today, we are <laughs> going to do something crazy. A beer that has gotten mixed reviews on the internet. So I had to find it and we have to try it. <laughs> Rogue's Voodoo Donut Maple Bacon Ale. Or bacon maple ale, who cares? Um, Rogue Brewery, uh, Oregon. Um, Voodoo Donuts is actually a Voodoo, uh, is actually a donut shop in Oregon. Um, I think they have three or four locations out there somewhere on the West Coast. Uh, their flagship donut is the Maple Bacon Bar. Um, and they've done, I don't know what TV show like Man vs. Food or something like that, did an episode uh, featuring them. I think it was driver, Drivers, Drive-Ins, Diners and Dives or something, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, um, so I was very impressed to see that Rogue did the beer for them. Um, I know they did it last year, but I don't know about before that. So, um, I mean, ever since it's been out, I've been hearing yeah, crazy me too. amounts about it. Me so, too. And I've been seeing it everywhere. So. Yeah, we had to special order it, so, um, Whew, I'm excited. yeah, um, to keep in line with, you know, donuts or a bakery, um, they made this with 13, you know, baker's dozen, uh, different ingredients, I'm not going to go through all that, 5.6% uh, alcohol by volume, it is uh, classified as a brown ale, um, brewed with natural ingredients yes natural ingredients no preservatives no additives all that you know rogue does it uh, <clears throat> I'm stalling now because I'm a hair nervous because I, I think I'm gonna start pouring <laughs> go <laughs> <coughs> so I'm gonna blow up here <laughs> pink mm. Pepto Bismol colored bottle uh, wow I wasn't expecting this oh, color wow. Me either I was expecting a lot darker oh. okay Okay, so uh, definitely golden. Um, I can smell it already. I mean, wow, this doesn't seem oh, like it should glass. be coming out of this Rabbit pink glass. bottle. Grab it. Yeah, okay, oh okay, I'm getting it, yeah. Okay, Ooh. off the bat, it smells like when you're at grandma's house, and she just whipped up some kick-ass French toast with fresh maple syrup and some thick-cut bacon. And you get the bacon, you get the syrup, a little bit of syrup on the bacon. Oh, psh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Don't even hate. Um, that's exactly what this smells like. I'll talk about a more recent situation oh. where I overcooked a whole bunch of bacon links. And they're the honey bacon, or the, not the honey bacon, but the... Uh, maple bacon uh, little links that you get if you overcook those this is what you're getting you're getting that scent flooding your kitchen and you have to open up all your windows that's what you're getting right here no i i can't, I can't they need shit. a young lady to come cook for him <laughs> please please oh yeah no it is it is nice and it is crazy to think that this beer this color I mean, judge a book by its cover, but I'm still, like, in awe over this thing. You know, it, it's kind of a, a maple syrup color, like the amber maple syrup uh, color. So I, maybe they did that on purpose. Who knows? Uh, but it's a, you get a lot of smokiness uh, from the nose. For sure. Yeah, definitely. The sweetness. I mean, a maple component. A hint of malt, a hint of caramel. I did. Okay. It's weird. It is really, really weird. Um, there is definitely a factor of bacon in there, freshly cut bacon that's in there. It's very, it's very light, and it's an underlying theme. There's something else there, though. Um, 
that I can't really pinpoint. You know, reading about this beer, <clears throat> looking at other reviews about this beer, I gotta tell you guys, if you haven't had it, don't be afraid of it. Um, I was reading that it's sickly, syrupy, sweet, uh, all these horrible things. It's not. No, not at all. You barely get any maple from it. Mm -hmm. Just a, 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 an outlying essence of it. Uh, what dominates is the smokiness. The, the, the bacony smokiness dominates this ale. It's definitely dry. Uh, not overly dry, but I mean, it's it's got some sweetness to it. I should say, it's probably off dry. I should say. You know, yeah, you're you're right, off dry because mm -hmm. you know I'm thinking of just like bacon that's gone above and beyond being cooked. It's it's seriously like I cooked bacon and I went like ten minutes over when I should, when I took it out. I'm not I'm getting burnt serious. bacon. Not burnt, but like <coughs> dried out, like uh, that. Man, I can't even. I can't even explain it. Okay, what kind of bacon do you get? Where do you get your bacon? I get cheap cup See, bacon. I don't. Okay. I get smoked bacon from the butcher counter at a very good uh, grocery store. Uh, you know the fresh cut stuff that's sitting in the glass case. You you can look at it. That's the bacon I buy. That's what this tastes like. Uh, the smokiness makes me very happy. There's a hint of that maple, like I said, the, you know, grandma's French toast, a little syrup drippings with the crispy bacon kind of touching that. You, mm, yeah, don't get me started. Um, I'm shocked. I'm very shocked because I thought this was going to be dessert beer all day long. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that's what I read. That's, you know, everyone said it's super sweet. It's you know it's, this is dessert beer. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I looked on the website. Uh, they tell you to pair it. Uh, we, if you've been on Rogue's website, you know they always have a pairing for their beers. Um, pork and donuts is what they say. Um, definitely, I would agree with pairing this with pork. Um, even uh, like a maple pear seared pork chop if you will with some chutney or something um man this is way better than i expected um and i must be honest i, I usually try to be uh as unbiased as possible but i was ready to ream this beer a new one uh from the pink bottle to you know how hard it is to get it uh, don't get me started uh, but I'm excited now. I have misjudged a book by its cover, and I must apologize for that because I was raised not to do that. Um, and I just stuck my foot in my mouth because I enjoy this beer. I, I'm sorry to say it. I really enjoy it. A little bit of pecan, too. Just throwing that out there. All right, I'm going to spit this out here. I, too, also misjudged this uh, I got caught up in the hype a little bit uh, I thought it was gonna be a dark beer I thought it was gonna be thick um, heavy and it's not that it maybe medium at most um, but seriously there's a lot of good characters to it however I, I don't think it's worth the price tag um, you're getting a lot of these beers around like 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, this one I got uh, 11.99. 11.99. Well, that's a good price. Yeah. I'm sure they're charging more for it other places. For sure. I know that the the vendors and and you know Rogue itself is it, they're not mass producing this one. Mm -hmm. um, so if you can find it for close to 10 bucks, definitely go check it out because it is a very unique beer. Uh, with some great characters to it. You can find it, uh, you can go on Voodoo Donuts website or rogue, uh, roguebrewery.com slash voodoo. Um, 
you can order it. It says directly from the brewery uh, online. Uh, if you can't find a store that distributes it uh, near you, um, other than that, I mean, I, you know, I met with a, a pretty decent uh, merchant here uh, in Minnesota, and you know, he sent me an email and was like, "Hey, I got an opportunity to get." some of this uh he needed to buy a minimum of a certain amount so um enough of us were interested so we were able to find some so yeah that worked out great for me and you know i expected because he was guessing it would be 16 to 18 bucks a bottle so uh, retailed at 12 bucks i'm i'm happy yeah not bad i'm happy oh uh, what are you gonna rate it Boy, I was ready to smash this one. That's crazy. Um, <clears throat> what do you think, hon? What do you do? You like it? Do you not I like think it? It's good. Yeah, uh yeah. -huh. Okay. So the woman vote. You know, she she likes it. Easter brunch. <laughs> Very. Oh nice. yeah, definitely Easter Very brunch. Nice. Sure. Um. Boy. Is that is that what you're thinking with the color, like an Easter egg? Well, yeah. It yeah. yeah. works. There's kind of a lot going on. Um, the maple, the pecan, the bacon, the smoke. You do get very little beer component. I mean, the smokiness is I mean it's there uh, sort of reminiscent of a Rosh beer um, but you can definitely get that pork fat I mean the, the porkiness for sure mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm gonna give it I'll give it nine and a quarter Wow! I really? just went there yes Holy I did shit. I love bacon, man. I mean, okay. Shit. Okay. <clears throat> we might have to have this for breakfast too, baby. Just saying. And some of you might get mad at me. I, I'm not going to get behind the bandwagon on this one. I think it's a good beer. I think it's got some interesting characteristics <coughs> with it. Um, I just don't. I, I was expecting something bolder. I, I. Do like the fact that it doesn't get sweet and heavy and creamy. Uh, there is a little bit of cream to it, but not overly. Right. Um, I'm still gonna give it a good score. Uh, eight point. Eight point five. Eight point seven five. Eight point seven five. Uh, they they went above and beyond, not only with the beer but with the marketing. Good job, guys. Rogue Ales. Check it out. Yeah. I, I mean. There are very few rogue beers that I have not liked. Um, I honestly thought I was going to put this one in that category. I mean, my foot is in my mouth, like I said. This is. <laughs> I seriously could justify drinking this uh, at a campfire, at a barbecue. Oh, dude, don't get me started. Like, some burnt ends. You, you, you barbecuers. You barbecuers, not grillers, you barbecuers know what I'm talking about. Some burnt ends with some of this. I know it's, it's kind of freaky. You might get laughed at at the tailgate party or, you know, at the, at the barbecue with the pink bottle. But this with burnt ends would be killer. Uh, oh, no, I bet you, I bet you got a tenure with that. Oh. Definitely. Awesome. <clears throat> Definitely check that out uh, if you can find it near you or order it online and so forth. Uh, and we got more stuff coming for you, so stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and all that good stuff. And as always, peace.